Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator motor fan blade in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator motor fan blade. The evaporator motor fan blade pushes the cold air through the evaporator, circulating it throughout the entire refrigerator. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it came off the motor shaft or if one of the pedals is broken, causing unusual noises and warm temperatures. Let's start with opening the freezer door and removing the ice bucket. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws at the base of the freezer air duct. Slide up the air duct to unlock the tabs at the back of it and then remove the duct. Grab the evaporator motor fan blade and pull it off the motor shaft. You may need to apply some force, but be reasonable and don't break the motor. This is the old evaporator motor fan blade next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Slide the new evaporator motor fan blade on the motor shaft. Make sure it rotates freely. Install the air duct by putting the tabs into the slots in the evaporator cover. And then push it down. Secure the air duct with the two Phillips screws. Hey, uh, now we can put the ice bucket back in and close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling down. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site on Facebook and on YouTube.